best free fishing bait you can find and it's right at your house it's a worm it is something free you can dig it on your property you can dig it at the lake the water's edge worms are everywhere for pretty much everywhere a part of the world you can find worms and use them to catch fish so i'm going to show you a quick little video on how to get this set up and catch worms just like those right there all right so we got these weeds here right you can see moist wet ground nice green stuff but worms are going to be concentrated around more moist ground and weeds like this are perfect for them to be so we're going to take take a tool here and dig some up and show you how easy it is just in that turn they're right under the root system of the plants now these ones are by no means night crawlers but if you like to fish pan fish trout that's perfect little little worms to use for that now there's always a chance and I've only been out here for 20 30 minutes but that's what I found these are a little bit bigger some really nice worms that's what you can expect to find right in your own backyard in just a short time go out on the water whether it's after like I said pan fish trout love them and you're looking for if you got weeds and stuff Just a short order, and we got a pile for getting out there for trout and panfish here at the local ponds. Let's go see if we can find some night crawlers. Just moving some dead leaf debris. There you go. You never know what you're going to find. Maybe some old pieces of bark again decaying debris look at that right there worms are everywhere now something worth mentioning take what you need not just as much as you want because whether you're taking them out of your garden or the, around the surroundings worms can be a huge help to the environment so the ones that i'm taking from the garden probably gonna end up putting quite a few back and just take a little bit for a trip out and for a couple hours so just keep that in mind too but free fishing bait i mean what's better than that i spent 20 minutes gathered a ton of worms ready to go fish with the boys All right, I want to do a quick breakdown of the actual rigging for fishing these worms. Basic float setup, many may be familiar with the old red and white bobbers. You can get those at your local Walmart or any sport of goods stores. Very cheap, very easy. They're spring-loaded. Here's another version of a spring-loaded uh, float where you push down the top section and it pops a little pin out. 
but my preference if i'm fishing a float with a worm is a weighted style of those cigar shaped floats the reason being it sits better in the water but more importantly it casts further than the unweighted version so it's got a little bit of weight there at the bottom again same spring loaded piece it works really really well for your applications of trout and panfish now a basic bait holder hook for a worm these are size six kind of my favorite all around size because they're not too small but they're a perfect size that'll get a good amount of bites and equate to fish um, you need a little bit of some terminal tackle here some swivels just to keep your line system together um, some split shot these are just your regular size seven pinch on and then some kind of leader line this is eight pound test fluorocarbon by no means for panfish and trout do you need fluorocarbon but i like to have fluorocarbon just because i have confidence in it and you know for for the sake of this it makes it really easy now what we're going to do is we're going to take the fluorocarbon here and these bait holder hooks have a turned down eye so what you're going to see is we're going to actually instead of just direct tying it um we are actually going to snell a knot and you have to basically turn the hook upside down run your typical bait loop knot of about eight wraps down thread the line back through the eye of the hook and then finish it off by doing the loops at the back end i've done a video there's a lot of others out there on how to do a bait holder knot and this bait holder knot basically just allows you to keep a straight line tie directly off of the hook shank and it's not going to kink or do anything else while it sits in the water so you really get a really nice presentation for the worm under the water versus something that doesn't look natural so it really keeps it straight and that's why i like doing that and then you get that little tag in which sometimes can be a little tricky to snip off but i always want to do that because really when you thread the worm on you don't want to have the tag in there because it will impede your ability to get the worm fully threaded up the hook but then once you have your leader tied you're going to put the other end of that to a swivel and the reason for the swivel now is first off it helps with line twist which is really important but secondly it allows for a stopping point for that pinch on split shot to sit i really like doing it that way because the swivel in itself is its own extra little bit of weight um, and then you can have that split shot now the split shot can be resting directly right above that swivel or you can have it part way up the line even further and just use it kind of as a baseline point now i'm just tying a makeshift main line so you can see what this presentation is going to look like when it's fully rigged that main line is going to be tied directly to the swivel and then from there you're going to end up clipping on your float and it's a spring so you have to push the top down to get the bottom out and then you have to hold the bottom while you push the top and you can see there it's a little tricky to do it filming wall at the same time but you basically get the line in between both and it sits just on the outside of the the float itself and then you can add your split shot where you need to i usually start with one and then see where it goes now because the float is weighted already you have enough weight there to cast with without usually any issues the split shot though helps to get that worm in the correct spot for where the fish are depth wise so i kind of play around with it figure out if i want it directly next to the swivel i usually don't pinch it down super hard when fishing for panfish because you can move it around a little bit and give you kind of a basic idea but truly that is it super simple worm rig for panfish so if you like fishing any kind of water worms are going to be the best free bait you can find you can even get some pretty gorgeous fish like this yellow perch here so if you want to see more panfish fishing check out the video playing above Thank you so much for watching. 
And as always, tight lines, and we'll catch you on the water. Fish on!